Hello, in this video I'll show you how to import your files and how to get started with editing them. So, the first thing you need to do is to press the import button. It's right here in your library. After that, choose a source. You have multiple options. You can go on Google Drive, on Dropbox or OneDrive, or you can also drop links from YouTube and SoundCloud to import videos from those services. Additionally, you can record your microphone or your webcam in Flixier too. For the purpose of this video, I'll just use some videos from my device. I'll click on my device and then I'll select a couple of videos here. I'll click open and then I'll just click import all. The videos will be first important in Flixier. You'll see um, a loading circle here that tells you how long the video has until it's uploaded. And then some videos will need to be transcoded in a format that Flixier can read. That will take some more time as well. It's very important to know that while your videos have circles on them, you will not be able to save your video or to publish it. So you'll need to wait for your videos to upload and complete transcoding before saving your project. So after that, you can just hover over the videos or just click on them to preview the video in a bigger, um, in a bigger window and to also uh, read information about the resolution, the duration, the name and when it was uploaded. Here is also the place where you can delete an asset if you want to. But for now, let's just go ahead and start with adding uh, videos into our project. So what you have to do is just drag and drop a video into this black square on your screen. You can see it also gets added into this timeline. So this is a place where videos will be stacked either on top of each other or next to each other to form your end composition. So if you click play, you'll be able to preview your video. Let's, let's just add another one. Um, I advise you to just drag and drop videos on the timeline as well and you can just drag them at the end of each other if you want to create a more complex composition. As you can see this is a 16 by 9 video which actually is a different aspect ratio and I will tell you more about it in a different, uh, in a different video. Let's delete it for now. So all you have to do is click on the video and press delete on your keyboard or delete here in your um, timeline. And let's, let's add another one. Let's go with this one. Yes. With your playhead now, you can preview what's happening at certain positions in time for your video. So if you click this uh, yellow uh, thing at the top of, uh, of this line, you can move it around and then you can see how your video look, looks at this, uh, this position in time. You can drag it more, so and also what you can do is you can zoom in and out of this timeline. So if you press control on your keyboard and hold it pressed and then use a scroll wheel on your mouse, you can zoom in and out of your timeline, which helps you to see more of your video or less of it. You can also do this by clicking this tracks um, control and dragging on this scroll bar here. So you can do it like so as well. Um, you also have the option to do it through a trackpad by pinching and zooming, but depending on your trackpad this might be more finicky or it would work actually pretty well if you're on a MacBook or another high-end uh, device. You can see here with my device it's actually quite slow and it looks a bit, uh, yeah, it looks a bit bad. Okay, next up let's look more into what the timeline can do for you. So. Let's just add another video. Let's go with that one with a different aspect ratio. You can drag and drop it again on top of an existing video and you'll see it showing here. And you can also click play and you'll see that both of the videos play at the same time. So this is called a picture in picture effect. Um, in Flixier you can do this very easily and you can actually stack up a lot of videos on top of each other. The, the timeline is very effective. If you go into this place that we call a canvas or your video canvas, you can drag from one of the corners of that video and make it smaller or bigger and then you can click and drag it to, re to reposition it. Um, this makes it again very easy for you to create picture in picture effects and you can even go further on and add uh, some more coolne uh, coolness factor to, to your video. So let's say we want to add a shadow to this one. 
Um, let's just incre increase the blur size and the offset for a bit. And now you'll see how your, your video has a cool shadow as well. So this makes it stand out a bit more. Let's delete this one too. So this is how it looks. And then you can resize it if you want to, or you can reposition it as well. So your canvas is very flexible in Flixier and so is your timeline. Um, if you want to, to be more specific about your tracks and how you're working with them, you can click again on this uh, tracks control button and you can start by delete, you can start deleting tracks here. Um, you can also add more tracks if you want to, or you can add groups and then group things together. So here we have a group and as you can see, it's very easy to move all the things into a group at the same time. Um, Usually I don't use groups, it depends on you and how big your videos are, but um, for the sake of simplicity I like to keep things simple and not use groups at all. Okay, uh, right now you have all your files selected, so uh, let me just click somewhere out of uh, those or on a different file and just select one file at a time. Um, I'll close this because um, we don't need it for now. And I would like to show you how to trim and how to cut your videos. So you have this video on your timeline. Let's move the playhead to see what's happening with it. And let's say you want to make it four seconds short. So you have two options here. One of them is to just go on the side of the video, click and then drag towards the middle. And the other one is to just select the video either press S on your keyboard or just press cut and it will be split into parts. You can select either of the parts. You can now start to move them around if you want to, or you can just press delete on your keyboard or uh, on this button and the part that's selected gets deleted. So this makes it very simple to, to trim your videos and to make them shorter. Um, I will just press control Z. You can do, you can also press undo here just to get back to the previous state with the video being together. And I will show you something else. You can also delete a part that's in the middle of this video. So with um, the video selected, press cut and then select another part that you would like to, to cut the video at. And now you're, you end up with three parts in this video and you can select the one in the middle if you wanted to and just press delete I use it on my keyboard this time and now this part is gone. So let's see what happened here. If I press space to preview my video, we'll see that we have a black, uh, a black part in our video. You can also just now move this other video back and connect them together. So you'll see how it jumps from one frame to the other. This is not smooth anymore. And depending on what you want to do, this can be very helpful. So cutting parts from your videos. Uh, if you want to move more things at a time in the timeline, all you have to do is have uh, is press control and keep it pressed, hold it down and then click on another video. So now I have two videos selected. All I need to do is to drag and drop them and I can put them in any position I want to. So as you saw, I have all my videos connected.